And I'm Shauna Smith and Adam taking a look at the markets here with just under 60 minutes to go. It's a total reversal from what we were looking at yesterday. We're seeing green across the screen with the Dow up 263, the S&P up just over 1% as well as the NASDAQ. You can see the NASDAQ is the outperformer today. But let's get to Jared Blickery for a closer look at what's driving the action this afternoon, Jared. I'll tell you what, it's nice to see all the majors plus the Russell 2000 in the green today because it hasn't been that way most of the week. Let's take a look at the Wi-Fi Interactive where we're going to see the Dow still underwater just a bit. It is, it is up about 260 points today, uh, but just clawing back those losses uh, that it sustained mainly on Tuesday here. But we also got that downdraft because of the Biden tax proposal and capital gains yesterday. Here's the NASDAQ. Just about break even, just a little bit underwater by seven basis points. And the S&P 500 is in a similar boat. Well, it actually turned positive one, base point, one basis point. And then here's the Russell 2000, going to close out with probably some uh, more substantial gains of half a percent. Well, I also want to take a look at what's happened in the VIX because that is back down to the lower end of the range. Uh, 16 seems to be a floor right now, so we'll keep an eye on that. And also the 10-year T-note yield, uh, which is down a bit, just a few basis points from where we started the week. And we'll get to some stocks in a second right after the U.S. dollar index. That is at the lower end of its range. Well, here's a look at the NASDAQ 100, and we're going to see a lot of green for the mega caps. There is one standout, Intel, that's in the center of your screen, dark red, down about 5.7% right now, down 9% for the week. But aside from that, chip stocks, in fact, just about every chip stock that we know of is in the green. Well, I, before we close out, we got to check Bitcoin. Bitcoin price action is not looking good. Once we cracked 52, 53,000 off to the races, but to the downside, uh, it's probably going to take a while for this market to finally heal and be able to march higher. I got uh, several weeks ago, I got a message from the Canadian whale, Yves Lamoureux, saying that we probably will see a top around 63, 64,000. And that's exactly what happened. So going to take a while to see those recovering highs, but We'll be reporting on it in the meantime, guys.